Uh, Troy, just uh, what happened there in that third period? Yeah, it's a good question right now. You know, I thought, uh, thought we were mentally prepared coming in. I mean, obviously, you know they're going to make a push with the type of players they have on the other side. And, um, you know, we just uh, we sat back early. And uh, obviously, our fourth line got caught out there uh, uh, on a turnover. And uh, the next thing you know, it was 4-4. And then we had the bad penalty uh, by Abramov. To, and they made it 5-4. And then we just kind of lost our mojo from there and couldn't get our game back. So... Uh, it's disappointing because I thought we were really strong over 40 minutes and accomplished a lot of things that we talked about this morning and prior to the game. So, um, you know, certainly uh, giving up that many chances and, and those goals uh, is disappointing. Do you try to take that first 40 minutes as the positives heading into tomorrow's game? Well, you know, obviously there's a quick turnaround here. We've got to somehow find a way to get a split, right? Um, you know, it's just, uh, you know, our forecheck and our ability to use our speed was, was excellent early and obviously the power play. So, it was clicking and, and there was a lot of positives, but uh, at the end of the day, you know, uh, we've got to find a way to keep the puck out of our back of our net because, uh, you know, we're giving up way too many goals against. Uh, goal and assist today for Max Barino. You're kind of pleased that he seems to have picked up his offense in the last couple of games? Yeah, I mean, those type of players, you know, are uh, first year pro, they take some time to make them adjustments, and uh, I thought he was very good. Uh, his Sunday in Providence was probably his best game. He, he uh, you know, he had his bumps, he got a little bit physical, and um, I thought he, he built on that game on Sunday. And, uh, obviously, you can see his skill set on the power play. Uh, was there any fault to Paul Marcus, or was it more of uh, keeping Philip uh, intact and maybe play tomorrow? Yeah, you know, it's 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 you know, you're, I don't know what what the right answer is there. Obviously, uh, Gus was going to play tomorrow, so uh, do you give him a little bit of uh, time uh, just because of Hoggy struggling, or do you save him for for tomorrow? But I thought the game was close enough. Uh, that you know, Hoggy's been very good for us last year and uh, is, uh, has the ability to make the big saves. So uh, that's kind of why I stuck with him. And then obviously when they got 6-4, uh, you know, I just you know, was going to ride uh, Hoggy up to the end. Um, when you talk about the goals against Coach, is it um, defensive structure issues? Is it goaltending? Is it a combination of both? Because it seems like, um, at least numbers-wise, the goaltending is not where it was last year. Yeah, I think it's a little bit of both. You know, uh, certainly we'll sit down and break down the, the goals against uh, um, tonight from start to finish. But, uh, um, you know, I'm sure that Hoggy would like to have a couple of those back. But um, there's certainly some break, you know, the, the, that tying goal was a, a turnover by Aspero in the breakout. And then uh, we, we got spread out uh, defensively. And the next thing you know, it's in the back of our net. So there's certainly some things we can uh, do better defensively to help our goaltending out. And that's going to need to change because you can't be giving up, uh, you know, four plus goals tonight and win hockey games.